We're going to show you real quickly just a, a tuning overview just so you kind of have an idea of how we do this. Um, here's the transmitter. We've got the power control here. This is the audio control here. You can hear the radio in the background. We've got the audio turned down all the way there. This is the slave unit, but pretend like this is the only one here. There's actually two units here. The reason, there's no crystal here because it's on the other one and the frequency is being supplied by this signaling line. But let's just say that this was the only transmitter. Okay, so what we're going to do, we got power on, we got the audio down. You want to adjust the power so that you can get a good middle reading here. Okay, and now right here with this pot, uh, there's a 10 turns total. And what we're trying to do is get it so uh, it's right in the middle, which I have already done. Okay, so right here you can see we're right at about 4 volts. What we're trying to do is use these jumpers. This coil tunes the antenna, and the taps on the coil will give us uh, uh, varying readings. So we're trying to get the maximum voltage here. So if I start right there, you can see we're about uh, 1.8 volts. Right here, we're still about 1.8 volts. Let's see. It's about the same right there. Actually, right there, still below two volts. There's about 2.2 volts. Uh, let's see what we got here. 2.8. That's a lot higher there. About almost four. Yeah, it's going back down. 2.8. Let's see what do we get for the next one. Okay, that one's lower. I, I suspect that the other two are going to be that way too. The last one. Uh, that's kind of about 1.2, so we knew the highest was at the 4 volt. Oh, when you do this, I just did this before we started filming, but, and it's about 20 degrees out here, I know the wind blowing, but uh, you always want to take your hand away. When you put your hand close and you make an adjustment, it, 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 at 4 volts, the first thing we're going to try to do is tune the unit. Now that we've got a solid ground connected to this unit, and we're going to turn the pot until we get the maximum. That's why I like to use the analog meter. You can see the swing. I'm trying to get the maximum voltage out. See, we found a peak there. And it happens to be just about right there. Okay. You want to check it a few more times. So you find that. Now that you know you got your peak, this little red light here will turn green when we're at 100 milliwatts. The, uh, the legal limit. See, there we go. See the green light? And but we know we have a good ground. Watch the meter. We're getting off scale past 10 volts. Let's see, if I put it on the 30 volt scale, I'm right at about 13 volts right there. So this unit is working extremely efficiently. You can get a lot of power out of this unit if you wished. So now we're going to turn the audio up. You'll hear the radio in the background. I'm going to turn it up about 60% there and set the power correctly. There's a mathematical uh, way to set the power in the manual you'll get to. You're listening to Sioux Falls Liberty, 1640 AM, a legal part 15C low power station operating on 100 milliwatts. We're in the testing process, so please continue to listen while our audio quality is improved. The station is dedicated to providing you with information related to the Declaration of Independence, which was signed by our forefathers, stating that this union is formed to provide life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. Our goal is to provide you with the information to restore justice that. Official programming soon to be established and announced. Thank you for listening to this Part 15C station on 1640 AM Sioux Falls. The station featuring the Hamilton Rangemaster AM1000 certified transmitter.